Welcome back. In this video, I'll be talking about ostitis deformans, also known as Paget disease of the bone. It's a common target of questions and it's real simple, you shouldn't miss any marks here. It's very important to know that Paget disease is a localized remodeling of the bone. It's localized, not systemic, meaning that there are certain bones that will be affected and other bones that will be left alone. So it's not a systemic disease, it's a local disease. In the affected bone, there will be increased activity of osteoclast locally, which will cause bone resorption, so the bone is going to be very weak. And then it is followed by increased activity of osteoblast, which will form bone, but this bone is abnormal and weak, and it's called woven bone. So it's still a subject of fractures. And then it's followed by a period of stasis, where both osteoclast and osteoblast stop working. So in other words, if we take a biopsy of Paget disease bone, we might find increased activity of osteoclast or increased activity of osteoblast or both, which is the junction period between them, or actually not, no activity of either one of them. So the biopsy findings will depend on the stage of the disease. But in general, it's highly characteristic that we will find a pattern of mixed woven and lamellar bone in Paget disease. If you don't know what woven and lamellar bone means, basically lamellar bone is the normal bone that we are born with and woven bone is the abnormal bone that has been modified. Lamellar bone collagens are arranged in parallel ways, so they're very strong and thick, and woven bone fibers or collagens are arranged in chaotic way, so they're very weak and prone to fractures. In Paget disease, the fractured bone are commonly called chalk stick fractures because the bone gets fractured at abnormal places and the mechanism of fracture is also abnormal. Much like a chalk stick. The severe complication of Paget disease is that it will create an arterial venous shunt which will cause high output heart failure and also risks the osteogenic carcinoma and also causes deafness by narrowing of the auditory foramina. Patients may also complain of increased head size because of enlarging the skull. In labs, we're going to find normal serum calcium and phosphate and parathyroid hormone. And the only thing that is increased is alkaline phosphatase of the bone. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you and see you guys later.